What's new in the July builds of Pixel Experience Normal and Plus Edition running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in the July builds of Pixel Experience Normal and Plus Edition running on the Poco F1. As you can see, I am running the Plus Edition official build on my Poco F1 and we are going to first discuss the changes which are common to both the Normal and Plus Edition. So right off the bat, you will notice that the security patch has of course been updated to July 5th, 2020. And then the kernel they are using is Silver Core version 6.0. The build is from July 10th, 2020. Next up, they have fixed screen retention issues. Now, I personally do not have those issues on my Poco F1. However, if you have those issues and they were fixed with this build, do let me know via comments below. Then they have added per app thermals. So you'll go into settings, battery, optimization profiles, and bam, here it is. You can now choose thermal profiles for all the applications which are installed on your Poco F1 and the different options you have for the thermal profiles are no optimization, performance, browser, camera, dialer, games and streaming applications. The name themselves are self-explanatory. Then they have also updated the GPU drivers. So if I go into OpenGL extension viewer, you will see that the GL version for OpenGL is 3.2 at the rate of 464.0 and the date is from 3.13.20. Another feature which they have added is seamless audio switching. What does this mean? Well, let us say you are playing some music. All you need to do is tap on the icon beside the music player and then it will show you all the connected devices and whatever device you choose the audio output will switch over to that device seamlessly a pretty nifty feature in my opinion we can also talk about safety net so we'll open magisk manager do note that my device is not rooted i am only using magisk manager to check for safety net and as you can see safety net is pass which means that you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues now in case you do end up rooting your device then what you will have to do is use magisk hide so that you can pass safety net and still keep using your banking apps next up they have also fixed the dual sim data issue however if the build does not fix it for you then what you need to do is boot into twrp recovery so for that the first thing you do is turn off your device and then press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twrp recovery boot logo now once you've booted into two up recovery you'll go into mount make sure that system and vendor are mounted then you can go back go into advanced file manager and now you need to navigate to the folder which is system then you will go back into system over here you need to look for product and then you will go into framework and here you need to delete the file which is qti-telephony-common.jar well strangely enough that file does not exist in this path so i'm not sure why it was mentioned in the change log however if i do find out the file name is something else i will mention the file which needs to be deleted in the pinned comment on this video you can now reboot back into system so those were the changes which were common to both the normal and plus edition the changes which i'm going to talk next are only specific for the plus edition so for starters if you go into settings go into display and then if you go into live display you now have the option of color profile and you can choose between three different color profiles so you have dynamic standard and srgb and as you can see all the options are working absolutely fine and you can use whichever one you feel like next up they have also added per app data isolation what is this for that we can go into settings and then if you go into apps and notification see all apps let us say i select the chrome application tap on advanced and now if you go into mobile data and wi-fi the toggles which are about this per app isolation change are allow network access wi-fi data and cellular data and vpn data so you can independently control let's say you want an application to only use wi-fi data so you have a toggle for that 
if you wanted to use only cellular data you have a toggle for that as well if you wanted to use only vpn data you have a toggle for that if you do not want it to say have any network access you have a toggle for that as well there it is now chrome will have no network access now if i bring in my pixel 2 xl into the picture and it is running stock android 10 you will see that the only options i have over here are background data and unrestricted data usage so everything else you see on the poco f1 has been added by the developers over at pixel experience now in terms of gestures and smoothness you get the same level of butter smooth gestures and animations which you have been getting with previous builds of pixel experience no difference over there and there it is peeps that was what is new in the july builds of pixel experience normal and plus edition running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comments more than welcome see you when i see you